And they're off, and Bunny Lake is the only lever, and Bunny Lake is going to clear well before the opening turn. Always Cam took back off the gate, and she'll sit in that pocket spot in second. Artistic Vision settles in third, and Worldly Beauty a bit sluggish in the early going as Gap three lengths further back and forth. Molly can do it, lines up fifth, then Carolina Sunshine, and Eternal Cam Nation has gotten away last, and she's at least ten lengths from the front right now as Bunny Lake on an unpressured, unchallenged, easy early lead. Opening quarter in 26 and 4. And now Brian Sears makes a move with Artistic Vision from third. And Artistic Vision is gunning quickly on the outside. She's up alongside Bunny Lake and Artistic Vision makes the front. Always Cam is third. Worldly Beauty is two lengths further back fourth. A similar gap to Molly can do it fifth. Then Carolina Sunshine and Eternal Cam Nation trails the field. Their straight alignment and the new leader is Artistic Vision as they move toward the half. So Bunny Lake will draft in her pocket racing in second. 54 and 3 the half mile split. Always Cam is third, and Worldly Beauty has been flushed to the outside first over. Carolina Sunshine hoping to follow her cover into a striking spot. Molly can do it set in, and Eternal Cam Nation is third over from the back of the pack, trailing the field, and Worldly Beauty is moving up on the outside. She's now a length and a half from pacemaking Artistic Vision. Bunny Lake on the inside is third. Carolina Sunshine is second over. Artistic Vision off three quarters in 123 and two, and she looks to sprint for home at the top of the stretch. Worldly Beauty trying to wear her down on the outside and Bunny Lake is trapped in the pocket and needs a way through. Artistic Vision drifting a bit. That gives Bunny Lake room up the rail to rally. Worldly Beauty on the outside. Always can behind horses. Carolina Sunshine closing. It's Bunny Lake on the inside who's forged her way to the front and it's Bunny Lake and John Campbell to win it. Artistic Vision second. Tight for third. Well, it's the second time Always Cam has been locked in here in the stretch at the Big M. But right here, it's the 2001 Horse of the Year finding room. Pocket Rocket score here becomes only the second mayor to vault past $2 million. Bunny Lake in rain to John Campbell. Scores the upset here over Artistic Vision. She vaults past $2 million, a $37,000 Harrisburg bargain. She'll continue to race as long as she wants, according to her connections. There is a new $225,000 event for these mares on July 6th. And John Campbell had nothing but praise for the classy bunny. John, first time you drove her? Yeah, it was the first time that uh, I've been able to race her. She's, uh, she's a, just a professional. She's, there's no trick to driving her. She got out of the gate in a big hurry. Reminded me a little bit of Precious Bunny, her sire. Well, she can really leave the gate. I've seen her do it in the past, and uh, I was just in a wait and see to see how many were leaving, and uh, when I, the wings folded, I was sure she was going to be crossed right over for the first turn. Artistic Vision came up on the backstretch there. Tell us what you were thinking at that point. Well, I was content to follow Artistic Vision. She's a, you know, a top mare, and you know she's going to take you into the stretch and uh, you know you just can't be fighting down the back stretch with those type of mares following you and in the stretch there coming up uh, plenty lo plenty left for bunny yeah she's shot through uh, as soon as i got room in the rail she shot shot through there very willingly and uh, you know the trip worked out very well for her.